Hello and welcome, my name is Maria de Souza. I am a Feldenkrais and a yoga teacher and I'm here to help you heal your body through improving your posture or in other words improve the alignment of your body. Now we all know that good posture looks good on us, make us feel elegant but most importantly good posture keeps pain away. So when you start noticing those misalignments in your body and start correcting those and preventing them from going worse, it's when you're going to see a shift in your health. So today I'm going to give you an exercise for the shoulders. So if your shoulders are starting rolling forwards or if they are already forwards because of all this digital work that we do, computer work and mobile phones and so on, uh, loads of teenagers are already here. So we need to start tackling the problem before it's too late. Now, uh, this exercise will help you to reorganize the shoulders. You need to do it a few times and it's, um, it's, um, I'm bringing it to you in four parts because it's a long exercise. You do each part in its own or you do all at once. Uh, but it's important that you um, repeat it a few times for you to feel, um, to see um, a full benefit. Um, if you want the exercise all in one place, in one go, um, and you don't need to wait for uh, uh, the next week then have a look at the link below where I'll put the exercise for you all in one place um, now if you are serious about improving your posture and healing your body and if you want to go through a full program online program uh, and having me next to you uh, supporting your healing journey supporting you to improve your posture then have a look at my digital courses I'll put the link below now for this exercise we're going to lie on the floor and before we start oh, I want to bring to your attention the um, uh, technical part of the exercise that is very important that you get right okay so we are going to do uh, the movement with the arms in this position, okay? Like so, as if you lifting a weight bar. Now, it's very important that you keep this 90 degree angle in your elbows, okay? So not this way, not this way, okay? Also important is that your elbow is um, in line with your shoulders okay not here and not here okay so this is not as easy as it seems when we are going to move the arms like so okay when you move the arms it's very likely that your hands are going to drift okay drift towards your body or away from the body so this is where you really need to pay attention that when you come down or go back that you keep this 90 degree angle okay that the hand doesn't move anywhere okay and that the elbow doesn't move either okay so this is very important to get to full benefit from this exercise okay so let's start just lying on your back just to take a moment to Oh, to arrive in your body, just sense yourself in contact with the floor. Sense especially your back, either side of your spine, and sense the shoulder blades in contact with the floor. And it's very likely that you feel a difference between one shoulder blade and the other, and one side of the back and the other. This is also a great exercise to uh bring more mobility to the chest the torso to get rid of that stiffness and tension in the upper body 
Right, so since the contact of your back against the floor, the shoulder blades, notice the differences between one shoulder blade and the other, maybe one shoulder blade feels more in contact with the floor than the other. Uh, see if you can sense a difference. It's very likely that there is a difference because we all have these misalignments and muscle imbalances in the body. Now, and then lift one shoulder, just an inch or a few cent a centimeter away from this, the, the floor. Just sense the weight of that shoulder. And I do with the other shoulder and just compare the shoulders. Notice if it is heavy, heavy or light or sticky or jerky, the movement. Just notice how your shoulders feel today. Notice if you can feel um, uh, your shoulders. Um, what I want to say is, um, how far are your shoulders from the floor? Are they lifted? Are they flat? Just see if you can sense that. Together with your shoulder blades, also sense uh, where your shoulders are as you lie on your back. Also, it's very likely that you feel that one shoulder is different to the other. Maybe one is more lifted than the other. See if you can sense that. Okay, and then also turn your head very gently to one side and feel that uh, movement, the quality of that movement in your neck and then the other side and just notice the differences between rolling to one side and rolling to other side. And also notice if, as you roll the head, if you have a sense for your spine, so your neck is connected, your spine is part of your spine, it's all one uh, line, it's all one um, column, pillar. Uh, and so see as you turn the head, see if the, the rest of the spine is in your radar of awareness or do you only feel and sense your neck? To feel this and to sense that, you, you have to go slowly. If you go too qu quickly, you won't be able to sense anything at all. You totally lose the sensations, okay? so. You have to go as slowly as you can in order to feel what I'm asking you. Okay, and then let that go. Bring the feet on the floor. Keep your feet and knees hip distance apart, more or less. And bring your arms to this position that I said before. So it's very important that you keep this 90 degree angle and from here make sure that you, your elbows are high enough in line of your, of your shoulders. Do what you can, okay? And do what you can to keep the integrity of this shape, okay? The 90 degree in the in the elbows and the elbows in line with the shoulders. Okay, from here, very slowly, you're going to move the back of your hands toward the floor and see how far they go. Maybe they touch down, maybe they don't. Don't compare your movement to mine. I'm very used to these movements. I do these movements pretty much every day. So, um, if you, the back of your hands don't touch down, that's okay. Your point here is not to touch the floor. It's to do whatever you can do, okay? Maybe you touch the floor, maybe you don't. It doesn't matter. Just see how far 
your hands go towards the floor. Now, here is where, as I said before, your arms, your hands are going to drift away, okay? So if your hands touch the floor, be very suspicious because that might mean that you're losing that 90 degree angle, okay? So pay attention to what you are doing so that you keep that nice 90 degree angle in your arms. And you do that a few times, as notice how that feels in your chest, the shoulders. And it's very likely that uh, one side feels different to the other. Just notice that as well. So do that a few times. Keep the 90 degree angle in your elbows. Breathe in and out, and you do that for a good minute. Move back. Slowly and gently. As you move back, pay attention to your lower back and make sure that you're not arching, exaggerating that arch in your, lo in your lower back. Okay? You want the lower back to be soft and as close to the floor as um, you can. Just relax because the tendency here is to move into this kind of shape, exaggerating that arch in the lower back, moving the pelvis forwards. You don't want to be doing anything with your pelvis, so make sure that your lower back is relaxed. And you do that a few times. Bring it back and see how far it goes. Your hands towards the floor. Maybe they touch, maybe they don't. Doesn't matter. And one side is going to, be, is going to feel different to the other. Okay. Also, don't um, bend your fingers to touch down the floor. You don't do that. You want to keep your hands parallel to the floor. If anything, aim the back of the hand to touch the floor and not the fingers. Okay, so I don't want you to be bending your, your fingers, which is something I see a lot, bending in the wrist to force the movement or to feel the floor or to touch the floor. Don't do that. As I said, it doesn't matter whether you touch down or not. Keep the hand parallel. Okay. So you do that for a good minute and then you let go and rest. You can rest with the legs long or if you, if you prefer, but you can keep the legs up. We always do the movement of the arms with the legs like so, okay? But when I say rest, you can lengthen the legs if you prefer, okay, to rest and then come back to this position. Okay, let's go back there. This time, you're gonna do exactly the same thing but this time you're going to press the feet on the floor and as you move the hands back you're going to lift the pelvis and you'll notice that your hands will come closer to the floor and then bring it back with control and you do that a few times lift and bring the hands back with control Press both feet and lift as high as you can take it easily and comfortably. You, you never push or force or do anything that goes beyond your limits. Things will get better if you allow um, the body to get there with gentleness, softness, without pushing, without forcing. Okay, and again you do this movement for a good minute, okay? Don't forget to breathe in and out. You can breathe out as you lift or you can explore or experiment to breathe in as you lift. I suggest that you breathe out because you have more space to, to lift. but you may prefer to breathe in as long as you breathe that you're not in and not that you are and not 
holding the breath. So whatever you do, just don't hold the breath. Okay, and then after you've done that for a minute, take a rest. Ah. Okay, come back there. It's important to rest. There is a science behind these rests. Um, so make sure that you take a little rest. Come back here. This time you're going to move the arms forwards and that is very challenging even for someone like me that, that do all these kinds of movements regularly. So you see my hands don't come towards the floor. Again, your temptation is to bring the fingers down. Don't do that. Keep the hands parallel. If anything, aim for the heels of the hands to come towards the floor, to touch the floor, okay? Again, if your hands touch the floor, be very suspicious. That might mean that you are losing, that you lost the angle, okay? That you bringing the arms towards, the hands towards your body or away from the body, which is easy to touch down, or that your elbow is not in line with the shoulder anymore. So be very suspicious if your hands touch the floor, okay? And as you, as you bring the hands towards the floor, you'll notice that your shoulders lift. Allow that movement to happen. Notice your shoulders, your collarbone lifting and do uh, don't force the movement don't force your hands towards the floor or to touch the floor do what you can things will get better by the end there's no point to force or push anything now because you're only going to cause a uh, strain okay and again you do this movement for a minute or so slowly and gently Notice if you feel a difference between one side and the other. Maybe one hand gets arrives down before than the other. Okay, keep watching your hands that they don't drift away. That you keep that nice 90 degree in your elbows. Watch your elbows that they not, not move closer to the body. So this is quite challenging. And if your hands touch down, please be very suspicious and look at your hands to see if they are maintaining that 90 degree angle. And you do that for a good minute. Breathe in and out. Feel your shoulders, the collarbone lifting. Notice the differences between one side and the other. Healing is feeling. Notice what's going on. Okay, and after you've done that for a good minute, let go and rest. <sighs> you can rest for longer, longer than this. These rests are very important. And there is science behind them. So make sure that you, you do take a rest between the exercises. Okay, um, bring the arms to the same organization. Now you're going to do exactly the same thing with the palms going towards the floor and at the same time you're going to lift your head and look towards your knees and come back with control, okay? But pay attention to the way you're lifting your head. Press. You, you don't to lift the head using the 
muscles of your neck because that is going to strain your neck so you want to press the upper, upper back on the floor and use the chest the muscles in your chest to lift the head okay I've got a video where I teach you how to lift the head safely without creating tension strain in the in the neck keep the jaw relaxed and use the muscles of the back and the chest to lift your head so that the muscles of the neck are relaxed and you do this movement for a minute or for as long as it is comfortable for you a minute might be too long so you need to see for yourself how, how many you can do you can take a rest and then come back again notice um, that your hands might come closer to the floor when you lift the head that it's easier to bring the hands towards the floor when you lift watch your hands that they don't drift away keep the elbows aligned with the shoulders okay and after when you've done a minute or so let go and rest ah. okay come back to the same organization now move the arms back the hands towards the floor and just notice how that feels now comparing to before is it easier and then move the hands forwards the palms towards the floor and notice what has changed for you okay and then let go Ah, this is the end of this part lengthen your legs and just take a moment to uh, let everything go notice the contact of your shoulder blades against the floor notice your shoulders are they closer to the floor than they were before so I, I suggest you repeat this exercise if uh, you want to uh, reorganize if your aim is to reorganize the position of your shoulders if they are moving forwards uh, or if they are already forward so I suggest that you repeat this exercise or if part two is already there then go straight into part two okay and if you want the whole of this exercise in one place in one go then have a look below at the link and just notice what feels different from the beginning of the the video notice the contact of your body against the of your back against the floor turn your head just like you did before and just notice if they that movement in your neck is smoother or easier okay well done for doing this exercise if this was good for you give me the thumbs up and distribute it with your tribe thank you very much for watching have a look at the links below and i'll see you at the next video bye bye now